everybody, uh, another Suck vs. Suck, and this one is from Charles Manson, and uh, well, before I get into this, because I know there's going to be, like always when I do these Suck vs. Suck, you know, some people get their panties in a twist, and um, so I would like to uh, now say this before I get into this, I would like to apologize to everybody out there that likes either Britney Fox, White Line, or both combined. I sincerely apologize to you, you insecure, sand in the JJ dimwit. I hope you accept my apology and shove it up your poop chute sideways. All right, let's start going. Now, before I get into this, you know, it's unfortunate because um, I met the singer of White Lion. Mike Tramp. They opened for Aerosmith at the greatest venue ever, the Hollywood Sportatorium. This, I, th I believe, was the um, permanent vacation tour. And, you know, back then we used to hang out and drink Jack Daniels. And, and this time we were kind of parked near the back. And I saw there was like a crowd of people running back there. And I'm thinking, oh man, maybe it's a member of Aerosmith, you know? So I go, you know, I, I would love to meet Brad Whitford, man. I love Whitford St. Holmes, and I think he's the superior guitar player and so underrated. So, but it wasn't. It was Mike Tramp. And he spotted me because I was wearing a King Diamond shirt. And he said, hey, come here. What's up? And I go up and he goes, you know that me and King Diamond are best friends. I was like, really? You know, they grew up together in Denmark, I guess. And uh, he gave me a little, you know, band photo in his autograph. Very nice guy, you know. It's unfortunate. He was so nice. All right, so, because I'm not going to be so nice to him now, but I just wanted to say that first to let everybody know, hey, man, maybe I don't like the guy's voice. No, not maybe, definitely. I may not like the guy's voice, but as a human being, the guy was pure class. So here we go. Uh, Hungry uh, is the first song, and uh, musically it's not bad. Yeah, Vito Brado is a great guitar player, but man, a lot of these, you know, Hair Farmer bands had amazing guitar players. But I'm more into songs. I mean, I love a great song with great guitar playing, but I can't, I just can't say, oh, this is a good song because the solo is awesome. That's not the way this, this noodle works. Um... And, you know, but the, the, the song's not bad. It's rocking, but Mike Tramp, like his voice to me, it sounds like, you ever been like to a, 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 a store where a little kid is crying because he wants some toy or something and his mom won't get it for him? That's what Mike Tramp sounds like, a little child crying. It, it's just, oh, nice guy though. And now it's going against uh, Girl School. What the hell is this witchery? Oh, man, that's bad. I'm giving that one a white line. Next one. Lonely Nights. Again, music is okay. Vocals are not. And that's going against Long Way to Love. And this one I remember because it, uh, it was the video. And, you know, first time I saw it, I was like, man. That's pretty quick to get a, a Cinderella ripoff. You know, I know one of the bands wasn't Cinderella. And let me tell you something. I'm, not I'm, I'm very ashamed to know that tidbit. And I'm thinking, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking, did this band have like pictures of the head of the record company that hired them? Uh, had pictures of that guy with animals? You know? It's like, hey man, sign us or... That's what I think. I think that may be possible. I'm giving that to White Line. Next, don't give up. Don't no. Don't give it up. Uh, this one's musically, it's not even good, but you know, the voice is even worse. And that's going against Kick and Fight. Um, the the music is okay, but the chorus is horrendous. And, uh, but you know what? I'm going to give this one to Britney Fox. All right, next. Uh, Sweet Little Loving. 
just by the opening of this song and the title, Sweet Little Loving. <laughs> Man, the 80s were awesome, but then some parts was really the anti-awesome, like this. Uh, all right, and uh, that goes against Save the Wink. Uh, save the Wink. Save the Week. I can't even pronounce this shit because it was so bad. Uh, and this is like, you know, the token power ballad. <clears throat> and uh, some serious suck here. Uh, there's no saving this ballad because it's weak. Horrible. I'm giving that to White Lion. It's a sweet little thing. <laughs> Boy, a sweet little loving. What? Does it matter? All right, next. Lady of the Valley. Uh, man. Musically, this intro is ripping, really good playing. But then, man, it gets bad. And that goes against Fun in Texas. <sighs> Alrighty, and uh, here, here's your hair farmers doing the blues. What? You know, I mean, look, I may bash on these hair bands, but they were, they were having some fun. They'd have you know, countless amount of women and drugs, and they were living it up. They were living the life, man. What the hell are they fucking... Oh, what, what's the blues with these guys? Seriously, what? They, they, they ran out of hairspray? Come on. Terrible. Uh, I'm giving it to Lady in the Valley. Next one. Wait. Wait. Oh, boy, I know this one. Um... This song is like, you know, every time I would come on MTV, wait. It's like, no, I ain't waiting. Change the channel. What a terrible song. But it became big. It got them, uh, you know, opening for Aerosmith and stuff. Uh, this song sucks hard. And next, uh, that goes against Rock Revolution. Uh, this somewhat rocks, I guess. I'll give it to that one. All right, next. All You Need Is Rock and Roll. Uh, musically, this one's okay, but I have to show this because when, when I was doing the notes for this and this song came on, I was like, oh man, I remember this song because it's off this amazing compilation, which I would like to talk about the songs on here. White Lion's the last song. I personally think, in my opinion, these are all, this is one of the greatest compilations ever made. Uh, starts with Anthrax, with NFL, love that song. Ace Frehley, Stranger in Strangeland, love that song. Kicks, I'm not a fan of Kicks, but I love that song. Midnight Dynamite, that's on here. Malice with Sinister Double, what a band, what a song. What an album, License to Kill Rules. Um, Manowar, Black Wind, Fire and Steel. Man, even if you hate Manowar, how can you hate Black Wind, Fire and Steel? Well, unless you like Britney Fox and, you know. White Lion, then you might hate it. Uh, Overkill with Wrecking Crew. Uh, this song rules. The Savage and the Hungry from Raven. What? From Life's a Bitch. What a great song, great album. Opens that album. Sabotage with the masterpiece, All the Mountain King. And then my favorite Testament song, Apocalyptic City. And then it ends with... <laughs> with White Lion. All you need is rock and roll. Man, talk about, you know, just like the Legacy album, when Apocalyptic City comes on and it's over, the album's over, same thing with this. When Apocalyptic City is over, this album's over. For me. All right, uh, let's keep going here. Oh, should I pick a random album? Let's pick a random album. Come on, let's do that for a second. Oh, this happens to be... My favorite album of all time, Pink Floyd, The Wall. I got to do an episode on that one day. All right, next. Oh, don't, all you need is rock and roll going against Don't Hide. Uh, if this song hides, I ain't going to seek. Horrible. I'm giving that to White Line. Uh, next one. Tell me this song. I remember this video. Yeah, I'll tell you. This song blows. And that goes against Goodbye T. Jane. And they, you know, they spell it wrong on purpose. Uh, I think it's horrible, but it does have some hooks. So I'm going to give it to that. 
All right, next, I'll join our hands. Uh, it's kind of heavy, and uh, it wouldn't be bad if it was an instrumental. And that's going against, in America, man, the vocals on this tune is atrocious. I'll take uh, Spinal Taps America over this, and Motorhead, of course. Uh, I'm going to give that one to White Lion. All right. Oh, and the last one. Oh, my God. When the children cry. Little child. <laughs> I watched that video today, and I'm like, man, this was actually big in the 80s, man. That's why our world is messed up. So, people that were into, people that love when the children cry, that's why our world is messed up, because they grew up and had kids that ruin, that's ruin, ruining this world. Get off my lawn. Uh, going against Hold On. Uh, it's somewhat rocking. Ah, whatever, man. It's over. I give it to that. So in the end, uh, White Lion got one, two, three, four, five, and Britney Spears got Britney Spears Fox got one, two, three, four, five. It's a tie. A suckage tie. They both suck equally. This is garbage. No likey. I likey this without white line, though. So, thank you, Charles Manson, for this suck versus suck. Um, I've had a break. You know, I know I kind of like yelled at our friend Wade, which I don't feel good about. Hey, Wade, I'm, I feel guilty, you know, for because you've been such a great donator. And I kind of, I, you know, I, I, I know I did it with, with respect. And I wasn't, you know, uh, really thinking foul of you. I just needed a break. And I have had a break. And I thank Charles Manson and you, Wade, you know, for, you know. Well, I don't know what I'm thanking you for. Yeah, I'm thanking you for all the donations. Not for your suck versus suck. Because that, that's just getting too much. And due to the break, I was like, okay, you know what? I never heard Pride. I mean, I've heard enough to not listen to it. But I will say that I do like their first album called Fight for Survive. My friend David Lovett burned me a CD of it. And I enjoyed it. So I was like, well, let's listen to this whole thing. And yeah, it wasn't pleasant. But, you know, it had some good riffs and Vito's playing. But, you know, that doesn't equal good songs. Thanks to, you know... The crybaby on vocals. But enough of that. I want to thank you again, Charles Manson, for the donation. And, man, being my number one donator, the guy that donates the most, I, I love you, bro. Thank you so much. And expect the show with me and Charles Manson talking about Guns N' Roses in the future. So if you'd like to donate, i got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel. If you have not, so stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob. You want me to do it? Uh, all right. I saw one guy say no, but then I saw like 20 people say yes. Majority rules. Bang, bang, pizza skulls.